So, hello everyone! I'm Arlene Brun from Tarlac State University, College of Nursing, BSN 2B. So, for today, we will be performing the uh, administering oxygen via nasal cannula. So, we have the purpose to deliver relatively low concentration of oxygen when only minimal oxygen and support is required. And then, uh, to allow the uninterrupted uh, delivery of oxygen while the client ingests foods or the fluids. And then for the assessment, we have to assess the skin and mucous membrane color and then uh, breathing patterns also included and then chest movements, uh, the chest wall configurations, the uh, lung sounds audible by auscultating the uh, chest by the air. Uh, presence of clinical signs of hypoxia and uh, presence of clinical signs of the hypercarbia. And then after that, so for the planning, we have to assemble and prepare the equipment needed for this procedure. So we have to um, oxygen supplies with a flow meter and the adapter. And also, we have the humidifier with distilled water or the tap water according to the uh, agency protocol. And also, we have here the nasal cannula and also the tape if it is needed or it is uh, optional only. And also, we have here the sign, no smoking. So, uh, to avoid any kinds of uh, complications. And then after that is to, uh, we will move on to implementation for the preparation, determine the need for oxygen therapy, and verify the order for the therapy. And then after that is to prepare the client and support the people. So ma'am, I stop the video. And then after that is to assist the client to a semi position if it is possible. So let's assume that the, our patient is in a, a semi position. Okay, Puma. And then after that is to explain the oxygen is not dangerous uh, when safety precautions are observed. And then... Uh, for the uh, implementation or the procedure, rather, we have to uh, introduce ourselves to the patients and identify the patients and also we, we need to explain what the procedure we will render and how the patient can cooperate to us. So, hello ma'am. I'm your nurse Arlene for today po. Uh, may I know your name po ma'am? Can I see your listag po? Okay po, Ma'am Hana. So, uh, kailan po yung birthday nyo, Ma'am? Okay po. Um, ilan taon na po kayo, Ma'am? Okay po. And then, so, uh, Ma'am, ang gagawin po natin procedure ngayon is administering oxygen. Safe po ito and uh, wala po kayong dapat ikabahala. And then, uh, we should discuss the uh, on how the effects of oxygen and the Oxygen therapy will will be used in this uh, planning further care or the treatment. So, um, ma'am, ito pong uh, no smoking po na ito. Dapat po kapag may pupunta po mga uh, relatives po nyo dito or mga kaibigan, friends or family, ganun po. Um, kailangan po is hindi po sila uh, mag-smoke po dito dahil po nakaka-apekto po ito dito sa oxygen tank po natin dahil baka po maka magkaroon po or ma-experience nyo po yung morning sickness yung tiredness and dry po ng skin nyo and also po yung pagbibleed po ng nose ninyo 
eto pong oxygen therapy na po ito is very uh, safety po ito para sa inyo kapag na-observe lang po natin yung uh, safety precaution po na nakalagay dito. Okay po ba sa inyo yun, ma'am? Okay po, thank you po. And then after that is to uh, perform a hand hygiene and observe the uh, infectious control. So, we will use this um, alcohol to remove all the microorganisms and, all this, and also to sanitize our hands. And then, we should provide the privacy of the patient, like uh, close the curtains and also close the door and have an adequate lightning for the procedure that we will render to our patient. And then, after that, is set up the oxygen equipment and the humidifier. So, uh, let's assume we will... Uh, okay... And then after that is to uh, attach the flow meter to the tank or uh, walk outlet. And then the flow meter um, should be in the off position. So in off positions. And then after that is to, uh, if needed, fill the uh, humidifier bottle. So, if it is needed only. And then, after that, is to um, attach the prescribed oxygen tubing and delivery device to the uh, humidifier. And then, after that, is to uh, turn on the oxygen at the prescribed rate and ensure the uh, proper functioning. So, we will on it and also observe the proper functioning. Let's assume that we will on it. After that is to check the oxygen flowing freely to the uh, tubing and there should be no kinks in the tubing and the connection should be airtight. So, we will check it. And then, after that is, there should be uh, uh, bubbles in the uh, humidifier bottles. And then, uh, you should feel the oxygen and uh, outlets of the cannula. So, we've done with that. And then... And then, after that is apply the appropriate oxygen delivery on uh, delivery device. And then, uh, put the cannula over the client face. And then, uh, with the outlet prongs uh, fitting into the nares. And then, uh, tubing hook around the ear of the patient. So... So, we can also, uh, we can also give a, uh, tape. And then, let's assume that, uh, we can, uh, type it over here. Okay. And then after that is uh, assess the client regularly and also assess the client nurse for incrutations and uh, irritations and give him a give her a water soluble uh, lubricant as required for soot mucous membrane 
And then after that is to assess the top of the client ears for the uh, signs of uh, irritation from the cannula tubing and if present padding with uh, padding with a gauze and also uh, may help to relieve the uh, discomfort of the patients. And then after that is to inspect the equipment for the regular uh, basis. So we will check the equipment. Okay, let's assume that we uh, check the ox oxygen tank. And then after that is to uh, check the liter, liter flow and level of the water in the humidifier bottles. And then uh, for, for 30 minutes and uh, whenever providing care or the, um, whenever we give care to the uh, clients. And then after that is to be sure that the water is uh, not collecting in a uh, dependent loops of the uh, tubing and then after that is to uh, document all the findings for the client records using forms checklist and uh, supplemented by narrative notes and then after that is to uh, uh, we will move on for the evaluation, perform the follow-up based on findings and that debated for the uh, expected or the uh, normal for the client and also to uh, relate findings to provide data if it is uh, available and then uh, report the significant deviations from the uh, normal to the primary care provider. So, uh, thank you po ma'am for cooperating with us for the procedures. And then don't forget to use a alcohol to sanitize your hand. That's all for today. Thank you.